Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 160. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Tricks 155 to 167. Hey, in trick number 160, we want to see how to use replace, replace, and we're going to see four different possibilities. It's a great feature. It's similar to find. Now, um, what I'd like to do is start off by trying to find a particular formatting. And the find feature, we're going to see how to um, find a format, a number, a formula, and a word. And we're going to use the select all feature in uh, replace. Now, let's highlight this whole range. And what I want to do, and this is a little small table. Imagine if we had a gigantic table and how awesome this trick would be. I want to find all of the purple with a border and uh, white font. Find all of it and then select it. The great thing about this trick is you could search through a whole spreadsheet and then just, f since it'll select all of them, you can then change the format. Now, uh, find and replace are over here and edit in uh, right here, this little uh, drop down. Find, replace, go to all of these here. We're going to use replace. I always use Control H, but in uh, if you know Control F, which is all you need for find, then the replace tab is right behind it. Now, in 2003, you go to the Edit menu. I'm going to Control once I have it highlighted. Control F. Now, I remember H, and I use it all the time because I use replace all the time. But if you just you don't want to clutter your mind with keyboards, remember. Control F because then you can get to replace. I'm going to do Control H and what I want to find. Find what? I don't see something for format. Ah, oh, click Options. And I want to go um, in this cell right here. I want to say the format. Choose format from cell. No way. And I'm simply going to click there. And now it found it. Now I want to say uh, find all. And sure enough, it finds them all. And down here, it's got immediately shows you all the cells. And I'm going to Control A. And then I close it. What that did by controlling A after clicking Find All is it highlighted all of them. Now I can go ahead and add my uh, uh, different format. I'm going to add this dark one here, like that. Now the next thing we want to do is f I'll use that same feature, but find all of the numbers. Control H. I'm going to get uh, rid of this clear find format. I'm going to say find a zero. And then I'm going to say find all. So really we're finding all. We're not replacing. You could um, use replace too, uh, which we will do in a second. But right now we're just finding all. And once you see this down here, control A. And then I can close it. And look at that. It found them all. Oops. That doesn't work because it's got a bunch of uh, uh, they found a zero there. So let's try that again. Highlight the whole thing. Be careful of that. Control H. And what do we want? We want to say match entire cell content. Find all. Control A. And then uh, close. Now I want to just hit the delete key. Now that they're all highlighted, I just want to hit delete because I really want to get rid of those. All right, let's try it again, but with a formula. And there's a bunch of sums here. Now we're going to, um, you, you have a whole big spreadsheet, you highlight it, control H, and what I want to find is equals SUM open parentheses. And watch this, I want to replace it with equals, I hope I can spell here, and look in what? Formulas, it's definitely going to look in the formulas, and it will actually replace all of those. I'm going to say replace all. Oh, uh, duh. That one there, match entire cell contents. I don't want that. I want just uh, part of it. And then replace all. And sure enough, Excel has completed the search and made 13 replacements. Click OK. Click OK. Sure enough, look at that. It changed all of them to average. Is that not amazing? Now, one last thing. Let's find uh, words. Control, I'm sorry, uh, Control H. And I want to say find what? Uh, I want to find the word total. And I want to replace it with uh, average. And then uh, be careful. Uh, uh, 
sometimes replace all can be disastrous. You know, if we had clicked that uh, replace all when we were doing zeros, it would have just replaced them if we weren't paying attention. So sometimes replace all uh, can be deadly. I'm going to try uh, a find all again just to see that that's sometimes the safer one. Control A, that selects them all, and then you can close it, and you can just see, and then type average. Control Enter. Notice if you have this cell highlighted in this one, if I type something in one of them and hit Control Enter, it puts it into all. That's fine and dandy. We got our averages here, but we want to remind ourselves of the average function and how it works. I'm going to double click here. I'm hit F2. Now the average function does not look at uh, blank, so it's not included in the calculation. If in fact you want this to be a zero, you have to type it in here. So zero, right? And then that tells the average function that you should include that in the calculation and then it's significantly reduced. We could uh, use our um, find here, control H, find a blank, and we're going to match entire cell contents and we're going to replace it with a zero and then uh, replace all. And sure enough it made three replacements. Another way to do that would be to highlight it and hit the F5 to which is go to special blanks and click OK and then type 0 control enter. Now you, you want these zeros here only when uh, there were actually zero sales and you want that zero included in the average calculation. All right, um, when we come back in our next trick, we'll do all the uh, cool tricks for go to. All right, see you next trick.